Hello mates and welcome to the Rematch C2 Elite Grand Prix event and yeah we are ready to compete against only 20 players to get awesome rewards. We are ready, let's have a look. First of all we will need to play the practice mode um, to unlock the qualifiers and then you need to finish inside top 10 of your qualification group to unlock the final rounds and over there you need to reach the top and get awesome rewards. So let's go and have a look onto the prices. So in tier 5 you will only get 100 tokens, 150,000 credits, 3 customization packs and 5 class D plus packs if you finish on position 1 of this group or yeah tier. On tier 4 it is just a few more. On everything and tier 3 it's the same just a few more than in tier 4. In tier 2 the first um, position will get rewarded with one epic import part on the remote C2 and inside tier 1 the first player will earn three epic import parts the second one will get two epic import parts and position 3 is getting rewarded with one epic import part next to 250 tokens 450,000 credits and five customization packs so let's have a look into the event let's go so first of all we got the practice round to play over here let's have a look so we need to finish the race and we need to do four jumps and we need to complete three conditions to unlock the qualification round one and to also unlock um, some more conditions that you can finish drift 150 meters and perform 7 360s let's have a look onto the car so here is the remote c2 and yeah as you can see you need a key for this car <laughs> and you don't get rewarded with a key during this elite grand prix so yeah Let's have a look onto the shop because over there you will find an option and the only option to get a key for the Remote C2. Actually the Remote C2 was the car that was featured before in the Drive Syndicate 2 special event last year. And yeah, you will need to have a key. And you can only get it outside of here. Yeah, you can see it costs you 1200 um tokens to get a chance on this key um actually let's have a look how many blueprints do we need for the remote c2 should we open just a few of the packs here <laughs> i don't know actually i would say you can give yourself some lucky shot and say ah, okay come on i will punch out 3600 but i would definitely not recommend you to yeah uh, go all in and throw all your 30 thousand tokens or whatever into these packs if you don't have the key so yeah i will just open a few of them but it is not very likely because let's have a look onto the drop rate a uh, featured item drop rate is about 10 percent but yeah you can be very lucky and get a key or you can be very unlucky and yeah actually not very unlucky because it's not guaranteed that you are getting rewarded with a key so yeah, let's have a look if I'm lucky. <laughs> Actually, I don't think so, but yeah. We will just do um, open some packs here for this video. Oh, at least some blueprint for my 911 GT3 RS. Uh, this car is featured within the Drive Syndicate 3 event. And I'm only two blueprints off of the next startup, which is okay. <laughs> Yeah, and plus three of the guaranteed blueprints over here. So yeah, let's go on. I think I will just open two more of these packs, but yeah, as I told you, it is not very likely. So definitely if you have a lot of tokens, uh, I would not recommend you to throw all your tokens into this one. So we got a few more and yeah I think this is here the last try. Actually I could do one more. Yeah let's do one more just for the video here. <laughs> oh 
Oh, Wonder, free Wonder Electric Dendrobium Blueprint. They are also pretty helpful because this car is going to be required for another special event. And yeah, actually I'm pretty close to the startup for um, the Salita Grand Prix. Let's do the star up to the second star. Oh, and here we go. There is the key. This was pretty lucky, I guess. Yeah, this was definitely very lucky. <laughs> okay, plus one Genty blueprint and a six more Remote C2 blueprints for. Yeah. Unlocking the car and getting the key. <laughs> yeah, so super lucky. <laughs> yeah, but it is, I don't know. You need to know for yourself how many tokens you want to spend into the car without being guaranteed to get a key. So, yeah. Anyway, pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah, we can start up the car. As you can see. So this was the unlock. Now we got to star up the car. Okay. And then let's have a look. Yeah, we can also add custom colors onto the car and other stuff. Actually, my favorite color is over here. Because over here you have some visual blue carbon on the car, which looks pretty cool. And yeah, let's um, have a look. There is also some decal over here, but as you can see over here, it is locked because I didn't unlock the car during Drive Syndicate 2. And yeah, we will just stay with the official color because of this. <laughs> and yeah, let's... um. Have a look the car actually has a really nice acceleration set of almost 83 at um 3852 which is the max one star version of this car 413.2 kilometers per hour a handling set of almost 43 and 40 on nitro efficiency so nitro efficiency is not the best set on this car but the acceleration is very nice so let's um have a look Let's take a look into the first practice run over here. It is Nevada Hairpin Sprint. And yeah, this is a very short track. It is only one big turn. And yeah, let's go for it. So we are starting over here and the front of the bridge and um, yeah over here you can see two different ramps over here you can do barrel rolls and over here you could also do 360 jumps actually you need them for later on for the conditions then we come to this hairpin turn once you leave the hairpin turn you can go for the ramp over here that was pretty close actually. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty close. This was also definitely not a perfect run. Actually, I would recommend you let's um, go for another run. So we finished the four jumps. This worked out. And yeah. Let's do one more or two more actually. This will help us to unlock qualification round one for today. So we need to complete one more condition to get Q1 unlocked. And yeah, let's have a look. On to the next practice round over here. Yeah. Actually, you could also just wait for one or two seconds at the start um, to have some worse um, practice run time. And yeah, this should help you to get some easier qualification group later on. But yeah, let's have a look. I think I will just do some 360 jump over here. Yeah, actually I wanted to wait at the start, but I didn't. Um, yeah, let's go here. Actually, you got so many jump options over here. 
that it should be no problem for you to get the jumps completed same as the 360s so this should definitely definitely not be a problem for you then you go for this jump and go to the finish line and then you can practice this over and over again i think you should yeah it depends on how much you upgrade the car of course the time but i think let's have a look do we see any time over here um actually this comes here without any beat race time requirement on the conditions so only have a perfect run make a shockwave or perform a shockwave perform 360s drift 150 meters do the jumps so you don't need to beat any race time on this uh, practice conditions but yeah <laughs> let's go on for the last run here for the last fuel on my car for the practice round and yeah i think it depends on if you set up yeah if you have a one star car a uh, one star version of the remote c2 i think you can maybe if you do it perfect if you are using shockwaves and so on maybe you can do a 35 or even a 34 time so um yeah let's uh, do it just as i said at the start we will just wait two or three seconds before we are starting the run so that's what i would usually do if i want to get some easier qualification group And then you can just chop wave all the way up over here. Over here. Do some 360s. Go into the drift. And go with another chop wave. And yeah, we need to do a 7th. And this should be all conditions now over here. So let's have a look and yeah it counted so we did the uh, 7360s we drifted the 150 meters the other conditions are also completed so uh, let's um yeah have a look I think yeah I think that's it for today <laughs> with the practice runs over here so yeah make sure to qualify on tomorrow and yeah if you haven't already set up some superb um practice time i would definitely recommend you yeah just um wait one or two seconds at the start and then you should be able to find some easier qualification groups in case that you are having some trouble with qualifying for the grand prix and yeah then i would say for today that's it um Maybe I will post some qualification run video later on, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you are opening yourself some key packs, good luck, but please don't go all in and hope that you will get some key because there is also the chance that you don't get any key out of it. So yeah, anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a great time and good luck on this Elite Grand Prix.